Well, folks, Whoopi Goldberg is um, a moral moron. So they were considering over on The View, the bright minds over at The View, they were considering why it is that so many members of the Me Too movement are totally silent about the fact that Hamas raped like a bunch of women. That there's a giant report in the Washington Post about Hamas raping women so hard that their pelvises broke, raping women and shooting them to death while they were still inside the women. And wh- wh- where, are all the, where are all the feminist rights organizations? Where's Linda Sarsour and the Women's March? Why, why is there no comment? Weird, weird. Well, here's Whoopi Goldberg trying to explain why. I am still devastated. We're two months since this war has been underway by the silence from women's group in this country about the rape being used as an act of war in this attack. Yeah. The fact that sexual violence was used against Israeli women in the major women's groups in this country have not come out and denounced it. This weekend, Sheryl Sandberg put out a gripping video calling for it. That violates every rule of, wa- of warfare. It is the height of immorality and the fact that the United Nations en- uh, Entity for Gender Equality and Women Empowerment has been silent. The UN Committee on elimination of discrimination against women has been silent, and the international Me Too movement has perhaps, had a thing. Perhaps the reason they've been silent is for the same reason that you just described. They don't want to exacerbate. Well, they don't want to exacerbate. You know, listen, I, I, I know that this is really hard for people to sit still with. Yeah. So right now, we're glad people are coming out. And that's what we're going to keep talking about because we want to encourage, you know, the the bottom line truly is this. You don't have a choice. You have to end this. You have to end this. End what? You mean the people who rape women to death? Like that, that's what you would have to end. You know why Whoopi Goldberg is so silent on all of this? Because Whoopi Goldberg believes that Jews are just white people and white people are bad. That's why Whoopi Goldberg says this kind of stuff. This is the same idiot woman who suggested that Hitler killing Jews was white on white violence and was not, in fact, a form of racial discrimination. That's literally what she said. And then she was suspended and she tried to walk it back, but didn't really walk it back. That's what she believes. The reason she apparently is totally fine with this is silence is violence. Whoopi Goldberg going out there and suggesting that it. If you didn't put the black square on your Facebook page in the middle of Black Lives Matter, it's because you hated black people, according to Whoopi Goldberg. Not because you disagreed with the basic premise, which is that black people are widely victimized in the United States, but because you hate black people. When Jews are actually victimized, when Jews are actually raped, Whoopi Goldberg's like, well, we we do have to be, we have to keep quiet about that. Well, you know, we wouldn't want to exacerbate the conflict. We wouldn't want to make it worse. You're right. Condemning rape would make it worse, Whoopi Goldberg. That nailed it. Nailed it. Again, there's only one reason Whoopi Goldberg is happy to say that about this particular population. And that's because they're Jews. That is the only reason that Whoopi Goldberg is willing to, well, you know, we just have to end this. We have to end this. Really? Not mentioning their rape ends this? The only way this ends is when Hamas is under the ground. That is, And I don't mean in the tunnels. I mean dead, just to clarify. But the reason Whoopi Goldberg believes all this is because, again, she buys into this oppressor-oppressed racialist matrix, and that is an evil matrix. It is a very, very evil matrix. That, that way of thinking is pathetic and disgusting. Finally, some good news. Because of you, my friends over at Preborn have rescued over 44,000 babies this year alone. Right now, thousands of moms are awaiting the birth of their precious babies. Thousands upon thousands of babies are currently taking their first breath. Since the beginning, Preborn's network of clinics has rescued over 280,000 babies. That is a miracle. For just 28 bucks, you can empower mom to choose life. Once she sees the precious life growing inside her and hears her baby's heartbeat, she's twice as likely to choose life. Ultrasound quality these days, absolutely astonishing. We have four kids. We met all of them in the womb long before they were born. When you do that for a mom, the chances that she's going to preserve the life of her child dramatically increase. Right now, through a match, your gift is doubled. Please give a generous gift that'll go 100% toward life. Have your donation doubled today by dialing pound 250, saying keyword baby. That's pound 250 baby or donate securely at preborn.com slash Ben. Again, that's preborn.com slash Ben. Go check them out right now by dialing pound 250, say keyword baby to get started and help save a life today or donate securely at preborn.com slash Ben. For most homeowners, window replacement, it's not something that they've done before. For many others, it's not something you want to do, but you actually have to do. If your windows are cracking or warping or your house is too hot or too cold, you need to call Renewal by Anderson. Have you put off replacing the windows in your home because it's too expensive? Well, I have great news. You can get a free in-home window consultation and a free quote from Renewal by Anderson. Renewal by Anderson's signature service is committed to giving you the best customer service experience possible, supported by the best people in the industry. Right now, Renewal by Anderson is offering a free in-home or virtual consultation on durable quality, affordable windows or patio doors for $0 down, zero payments, zero interest for one year. Text Shapiro to 200 
300 for your free consultation. Save 375 bucks off every window and 750 bucks off every door. These savings won't last long. Be sure to check it out. Text Shapiro to 200 300. That's Shapiro to 200 300. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting enrolls for recurring automated text and marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop to opt out. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. When it comes to lack of moral clarity in the West, that is pretty much everywhere. If there is one face of lack of moral clarity of the next generation of idiots that we have created through the toxic combination of legacy media attention, social media, and wokest philosophy, that face is the ridiculously dumb face of Greta Thunberg, who continues to be treated as though she has something worthy to say. She never had anything worthy to say. She was always a foolish child who was running around the globe saying dumb things to adults who wanted to feel better about themselves by allowing a foolish child to yell at them for the cameras. And she's a very privileged person. This is Greta Thunberg. She grew up in a very rich family. And so that gave her the ability to basically drop out of school and go to a bunch of adult symposiums and yell at them about how the next generation demands of you. Random things. Those random things include degrowth, deindustrialization, and all the rest. Well, it turns out that that radically anti-Western viewpoint isn't confined to her environmentalism, which, of course, is just part and parcel of a broader intellectual rubric. The, the idea that you want to stop global warming doesn't have to be connected with degrowth. It doesn't have to be connected with a belief in the innate evils of the West, but it virtually always is. And Greta Thunberg is just a symptom of this. So she was caught on tape just last week in Stockholm shouting about anti-Zionism. What the hell does Greta Thunberg have to say about Israel? What exactly? I, I didn't notice, for example, that the people of Gaza and the, and the Arab Palestinians living in the West Bank are particularly concerned with environmental issues. What exactly? In fact, Israel is one of the greenest places on earth in terms of highly industrialized countries. What the hell is she taught? Again, it is all part and parcel of hatred for the West. That's all this is. She is so emblematic of what the West has become. A suicidal death cult of stupidity. Here is Greta Thunberg. Again, the fact that this was ever, she was like Time Magazine person of the year a few years ago for being a stupid child who ran around yelling at adults. It's amazing to me. She's so terrible. What exactly is she chanting? She's chanting in Swedish, quote, what are we going to do? We will crush Zionism. That's Greta Thunberg, climate activist, shouting about this sort of crap privileged white Western people shouting about the evils of white Westernism. Amazing, amazing stuff. And again, this is the privilege of living in the West is that you can be as hypocritical and ridiculous as you want to be. Are you tired of the lies and the twists of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah, me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda. 